Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the evil king has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. It's me, Chocolate Controller, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we finished up the Spirit Temple and defeated Komei and Kotake, the, the uh, Twin Rova sisters. In this episode, we, we, we were told by Raru to go to the Temple of Time to meet with the person who was waiting for us there. So... In this episode, we're not doing that. <laughs> uh, there are a few things that I have missed over the course of over the course of this playthrough that I did not know about. Oh no way! All right. So, th first of all, first of all, with the silver gauntlets, you can pick up these these darker gray rocks. Uh. And continue and continuously let these levers hit you into the into the hole under it. Uh anyway. Today we're again today we're getting some collectibles. Uh the first of which is going to be in shoot. Uh or do I do I want to do things? Um. Well, we're gonna go to the water temple first because I want to get that over with. <laughs> uh, usually, usually I'm not. Usually I'm not the type of person who, to to do things in this order, but because it's the water temple, I just want this done. <laughs> uh, and then. So uh. You might be wondering, why are we going back to the water temple? Well, you, you beat it already. You beat the water temple already. And, and you know, that place sucks. Why would you want to go back? Uh, turns out, looking, if I can ever land, turns out looking at the map, if I can pull up the map, Looking at the map, that is the wrong direction. We do not have all the gold skulls here. I missed one. And after looking at how many gold skulls I currently have, and after seeing, and after looking up a guide on kind of what gold skulls I've missed, I realized that the one I missed is kind of. I wouldn't say it's like obvious, but like it is upsetting to me that I and that I missed it. Uh, I don't remember which room it is exactly. Uh, but it is not that room. It might take me a bit to. To find out where I'm going again, because I don't like memorizing the layout layout of this place. It's, it's just how how do you expect me to remember this entire layout? <laughs> it's infamous for it, it's infamous for being confusing. Anyway, uh, over here, I believe it's this room. Uh, yeah. I missed that one, as you can see. Uh, however, there are keys that are trying to kill me that I want to kill first. <laughs> uh, with the long shot, you're supposed to aim over here and get this one. And I believe it is the only one I missed here. If I can aim, if I can somehow aim my long shot correctly. After getting the long shot, though, yes, you are supposed to. You were supposed to uh, find it over here and and get it. So 
so. Oh, I barely hit that thing. <laughs> and I did not hit that. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Precise movement is hard on N64 controls. Oh, I think I overshot. Oh, no, I didn't overshoot. Okay. With that, I believe we have them all. I hope. Yes, we now have them all. We can now leave. We are now done with the water temple for good. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to not let you kill me. Uh, and am instead going to leave. <laughs> Alright, so first off, I need to get out of the water, and then... So first off, I need to leave the water, because... Because I can't use my ocarina in the water. How would I use my ocarina in the water? Anyway, um... Next thing we want to do is... Nope. Oops. We want to use the nectar to shadow to teleport to the uh, Kakariko Village, the graveyard. As as the next couple things I want to get are kind of are kind of close to that area, so. And, uh, and this is probably the closest warp point to the to that, so. Um. Hello. Hello, ghosties. Um. So. As we go into Kakariko Village to get some things um basically basically this episode is gonna be filled with me getting the last couple collectibles except for like two uh because as um as as i just missed a few things throughout the let's play that i honestly completely forgot i could get <laughs> So, I will meet you guys back by Zora domain, Zora's Domain. Uh, there is one collectible that we could not get at Zora's Domain until before, I guess, just before the adult part of the Spirit Temple. Basically, after you get the Silver Gauntlets, you can actually, you can get these, get the uh, collectible I'm talking about. Uh, but... I, but I just wanted to finish the spirit temple. Uh, but there is another collectible over there anyway, uh, that we can also get while we're over there that I did end up forgetting about. So, so we're going to get both of those. Actually, I also want to check just because, uh, I'm trying to remember for sure. If the gold skull, if the gold skull tool that is over here uh, at night time, if I got that one, because if I don't remember if I did, I want to say I did, but I don't remember for sure, and it's gonna bother me if I don't check. <laughs> uh, because here's the thing, guys, I. I'm technically supposed to be at like, I'm technically, he, after finishing the spirit temple, I'm supposed to be around like 99. Uh, because, because, of, because there are a few that I just ended up not being able to get, you know. Uh, so, so, you know, I'm a little concerned about how I am not at 99. Uh, 
There is the platform on the that we so up on. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Almost, that almost did not work in my favor. I want to climb up here, please. Uh... Basically, again, basically all but like one gold Skultula could I have gotten before, uh, before the adult part of the spirit temple, so. I can't tell, did I? I don't see it. I don't see it, so I assume I got it. Eh. Well, if that's the case, we're good then. Um... Cool. So yeah, we are just going to miss the jump and, and nearly die. Uh, and by nearly, I mean we only take a heart of damage, so it's not really that close to dying, but still. <laughs> uh, and then, once again, I will meet you guys uh, behind Zoro's domain. Oh, right. Zoro's fountain. Uh... The first collectible that I want to get is the one that I couldn't have possibly gotten beforehand anyway. Uh, it is over by the great fairy fountain where we got, uh, the Feror's Wind. Uh, you want to pick up this rock, and there's a hole we can now drop down. Uh, I want the Lens of Truth equipped as well as my bow. And we, and we, and we, come on, and we drop down, geez, and then while we're down here, give you some arrows to work with as well, you want to activate your lens of truth because there are gold skulltulas, or not gold skulltulas, but there are skulltulas up here that you cannot see without. So you have to be able to, you know, kill them all. Uh, which, you know, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I don't think we can reach that one, so I'm gonna have to do it like that. Oops! Do that. Um, I don't remember if the last one is invisible. Uh, there's one more up at the top of this. Uh, that I don't remember if it's invisible or not. Uh, no, it's not. Cool. And then, as you can hear, one gold Skotula here. We could not have possibly gotten this without the silver gauntlet, so... So that's why I waited till now. However, there is another collectible that I have missed that, that we could have gotten while we were there the first time. And I just forgot it was there. So. Oh. Oops. I did not mean to use. I keep using my dive ability because I keep thinking I can swim a little faster. I keep thinking, oh, if I dive here, I can swim. A if I press A, I can swim faster. No, I can't. Stop thinking that. Stop thinking you can do that. <laughs> Uh, really? Oh, s stop it. I guess that works too. Okay, now that we're on the big one, I want to jump over or not. Can I just climb on top of it? I can. Well, that, that's helpful, I guess. Oh, on the spinning ones. We want to go back to the ice cavern is basically what I'm I'm trying to do here is we need to go back to the ice cavern. And we will meet and I will meet you in the room that I need to go to. Okay, so in the room in the room where you first find where you first find blue fire, uh you want to Equip a bottle that uh, you can store the blue fire in. Get some blue fire. And... 
one of these pathways somewhere in here. I think. Maybe not. Somewhere in this. Somewhere in this. In here. Did I already get it? Hold on. I think I might have already gotten it. I don't. I don't remember getting it. When I looked, when I looked at the thing, I don't remember getting it. How did I? How did I? Not already, how did I? What? Okay, so yeah, I did already get that that piece of heart, and I am just not good at remembering things. Ah, uh, cool. So with that, I am missing a piece of heart that I do not remember which one. Apparently, because I I apparently do not remember because because again we're missing. No way. Again, we are missing three pieces of heart, and I don't. I only remember two of them now. I only know of two of them, unless I unless I saw four that I missed, and I already forgot what the other one was, <laughs> which is entirely possible. Um. Huh. Well. Uh. Oops. I'm going to warp back to Lake Hylia as that is the closest, uh, that is the closest, uh, warp point to the next area I want to go. Alright, that next area I wanted to go is, is either this. It's right by Gerudo Valley. I think it's actually one tree over. Uh, I think it's over here somewhere. There's a tree over here, yes. This random tree over here. Yeah, there's something important here. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, I need my bombs. And then I actually should probably equip my long shot because that is like the only thing I can use under the water. Uh, yes, we are going underwater. Uh, yeah, use the bomb, explode a hole by the tree, go into said hole, and then we can equip. As you you can already see it, there is a piece of heart down there. Yeah, we could have gotten this after. After getting the iron boots and Zora tunic, but I just forgot this was here. Right, that should bring us to two pieces, right? Yes, that brings us to two pieces, and we're at 95 Skultulas, so. So that's good. Um, so there. So I know of like. I know of two of those 90, I know two of them, um, so that'll bring us to three that we are still missing, that I just happen to not remember where they are. Uh, yeah, I, I typically am good at remem memorizing this game, uh, up to the point of I become adult and remember basically nothing. Um... But, hi, go away. That's how you're gonna be, go away. Hi, are you going to, okay. If you are going, if that is how you are going to be, I am going to shoot you. And then I want to make sure just because I, because I can't, because this blue fire is useless to me, you're going to dump it out and then... And you. You defeated a Poe, po, the ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? No. Uh, that is not what I wanted then. Um. There, there is a certain type of Poe that you have to 
catch for another collectible, but I will be doing that probably next time. Uh, it's gonna, it is definitely going to be taking us two, two episodes to finish the collectibles. That's all I can say for now. Um, but first off, Gerudo Valley. There is one gold skull I missed in Gerudo Valley. Which I am trying to get to right this second. Uh, you want to just roll over here. And behind the carpenter's tent, uh, near the one that we had already gotten. Yeah. So there's that. We're now at 96. Uh, wherever the thing is, and we should be. No. There's still one more that I missed. Hmm. Well, that's. Well, that's, uh. Interesting to know. Brutal Fortress. I know that one. I know the one I missed here is going to be kind of up around here. Uh, I don't. I'm going to struggle to remember the best route to that area, but. Oops. Uh, it's either going to be up here or up the other way. Uh, it's gonna be up the other way. Okay. So going through here. Going through here. Over here. Uh, we want to go up here. And then. We're still the way off. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, in that case, we're going to go this way then. And there we go. Okay, at, at nighttime only, it's right here. And I failed miserably. And I still am failing miserably. How do I aim? How am I missing that? Okay. Destroying that gold skull till I gets us, if I am correct. Yes, Haunted Wasteland, Desert Colossus, we have all of them. Gerudo's Fortress, we have them all. Gerudo Valley, we do not. So, uh, Epona is somewhere. I hear her, I don't see her. I'm pretty sure I know where she is. Though, so. okay. I am feeling a strong vibration. What the? I'm feeling vibrations over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it would be. Feels like it should be somewhere around this spot. I feel a vibration telling me that there's something around here. There is... My controller is telling me there is a secret nearby. I play a specific song? <laughs> I'm sorry, but what? Also, we're at 97, so... I don't know what this is. I don't think this is a... Yeah, this is not a required thing, because I don't remember this. Oh, it's a fairy fountain! I don't know that. That's pretty neat. Well, that's nice. 
Uh, we don't need though. We don't really need a fairy right this moment, but I guess, yeah, that's nice to know that that's there. Um, okay. Well, if that's the case, if we are still missing a Gerudo Valley Skultula. I can think of two possible Skultulas that I missed, and they are both child. Uh, so, I can also think of like two possible child. I can think of one possible child piece of heart that I missed. Um, and I can think of the two. And I can think of two child goats, goats that I may or may not have missed. But I only know. But I'm pretty sure I got both of them. So. There's a certain ledge. There it is. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to get this ledge, but. I don't know if I can get it as an adult, but. I. Highly doubt it at this point, but I highly doubt it. Unless, unless maybe the hover boots will help me get it, but I think it is actually down there. So unless I can get it with the hover boots, then I will have to come back as a child for that. Um, so that's gonna be kind of weird to get it, won't it? Yes, I am going to have to come back as a child. Uh, that's. Great, um, okay. Now we're gonna fall down. We are going to see if I can get back over this way with my iron boots. Uh, I am by the waterfall here. Or, no, this is the waterfall. The waterfall somewhere else. Okay, we are. Okay, yeah, I think we're at a lost cause at this point, man. Uh, okay. Well, guess we kind of have to go back to Lake Hylia with this. And then go back to Lake Hylia. I like the idea of just walking back there underwater when we can easily take the current, but, but this is more funny. Um, Okay. Well, we have all the gold Skotzilas everywhere else, so I'm pretty sure it is just just the last couple child ones. So, it might actually end up taking us three episodes to do this. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to end things off about here. Um, so... In this episode, oh jeez! In this episode of The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, we we did we did a few things. We got a few side quests. We got a few collectibles done, or got a few collectibles that I missed earlier in the game. Uh, and in the next episode, we will be continuing that. See you guys then. This is Chocolate Controller signing out. Bye.